his ability to be great in practice and to take that over the ball game. Well, the transfer from Virginia Tech, this is what he put up a year ago, almost 15 points a game, and already comes into this league and is the SEC preseason player of the year. He is surrounded by a very talented recruiting class and three sophomore starters back for Mike White's club against a team from North Florida that brings back a ton of experience. Four starters return, five seniors on this Osprey club. But Florida needs to be careful and be efficient and effective tonight if they win their home opener. First shot out of the corner, no good. Missed by Trey Mann, but he'll keep it alive. Nimhard. There goes Ivan Gandia Rosa. A very veteran ball club for North Florida. As you mentioned, four seniors. Florida at this excited for the opener. Anxious to see this team when the lights are on. Blackshear working hard. They, they will play at a different pace this season. Blackshear played 100. It's the most sought-after grad transfer on the market. Tennessee, Kentucky, some other temptation is over now. A lot of lineups in preseason and the exhibition game. Johnson under regular season title. Just to make the NCAA. Changed how they, those guys are now sophomores. Nemhart, Locke, and Johnson. And he will rely on their experience even though they're only sophomores. Yvonne Gadia Rosa. Defensively, 99% of the time, and North Florida runs a lot of good stuff. They've got good shooters. We mentioned their veteran squad. They won't be bothered by the atmosphere here at Florida. Strong move by. Ospreys. They've played Florida now. This is the ninth meeting between these two schools. Florida 8 no. Florida, a big winner last year against North Florida, 90 to 66. Matthew Bristow, very analytical in how he coaches. They run a lot of stuff. But he likes this team. D3 from Ivan Gandia Rosa. Second opportunity and up to us today as you look at their starting five. Understand uh, what it took last year. Nim Hart, baseline. Noah Locke. It's a good matchup zone defensively by North Florida. First night jitters, just a bit, day. Shots were a little long. Very understandable. Florida came out for warm-ups. They were excited. The dunk line was at, at a high level. <laughs> they could use a dunk right now. Florida's 0 for 6 from the field. Jersey, a five-star McDonald's All-American. Ranked the 10th best prospect in the country with his first appearance. And Lewis will grab that rebound. And toughest challenge for any freshman, especially a notable freshman McDonald's All-American, is how do you handle not starting? How do you handle not getting every minute of the game, which you're used to? Here Except, an exceptional talent. Good pass. Nimhart, shot clock goes to single digits, doesn't matter, his layup won't go, and the Gators can't get any part this game. Combined, the teams are 1 of 11. Hendrickson with a deep big man to set screens, pick and pop. Nimhart. Nice pass into Payne, who has a tough time hanging on. So we are in a timeout window, and the Gators have yet to hit a field goal. So they handle being a part of a group, because they were all superstars at one. Highly touted freshman, a so-called one and done. Uh, how do they handle if their minutes aren't like someone else's minutes uh, on another team at another team? Here's Mann. Good ball fake. A little floater. That's short. Somewhat easy shots around the rim. Blackshear's missed a couple right at the iron. Trying to get there again. Up and under move. And it's, but they finally get one to go down. Very tough matchup for anybody in the North Florida uniform. Blackshear on the post. JT Escobar. There's Sands in traffic. Good hands by Lewis. 
Mann and Lewis, two freshmen on the floor. We'll see how they play on the defense. In the exhibition game a few nights ago. Well, Escobar, way too strong. A lot of offensive sets, a lot of cuts, a lot of passing. You've got to be disciplined on the defensive end. Escobar, nice. Got married this past summer, and who officiated the wedding was... Lot comes off the screen. Good ball fake. Had. When he gets it going, he's uh, extremely good. Runs the floor well. Finds open spots. Can catch and release. That's why uh, teams would jump at him if he just raises the ball to shot fake like he did that time. Good hand. Take away by Noah Lock. He is last year. Florida Fred. 81 makes. On the floor now for Florida. Florida as Jason Kitobo, the freshman from Nigeria, played his high school ball in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. From Scotty Lewis. Now Blackshear could shoot the three. We saw him earlier today, and it was very comfortable shot for him as he buries it there. ESPN app. Can the Tigers keep that momentum going after an unbelievable run to the Final Four? Step back three on the way from Hendrickson. That won't go. Good knock and jump shot. Gators finished last year 20 and 16, went 500 in the eight. They were all but a foregone conclusion for the NIT, but the last two weeks of the season, good for the Gators. Matter of fact, they had a buzzer beater over LSU in the SEC, too, and that might have been the game that got them over the hump. Deep three off the mark from Lewis. Nice pass. From a year ago, they got them to the end, and Jalen Hudson were fantastic in the tough moments. When you're going through, especially the November, December stretch of game. Good solid defense. The international three point line at 22 feet, one inch, and three quarters. Which I think is going to be great for the game to open it up a little bit more, put a little bit more premium on the three. Missed the three. Did you miss the three point line? Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah. Collegially, yes. Yeah. My senior year, they experimented uh, in the ACC with it. I think they purposely waited till you got out of the game. Yeah, there was a little vote in the old big. Eight. Neither team has had much rhythm offensively. Lover floater, no good. With the place for UNF to start this game. You know, Dave, solid on both ends defensively. Uh, obviously, some offensive guys have missed. Nothing has come easily like that turnover. Lover can't convert on the other end. Tries again. That won't go. Bassett keeps it alive. Here's Locke. He thought about the three, but gets it to Nimhard. How tough uh, it is as a freshman to get that first bucket. Glover's been point blank. He is a scoring machine and will have plenty of points in a Gator uniform. So far, tough to get the first one. Payne, go. Partner, please. Gators are now 3 of 16. Yeah. Boy, good defense by Nimhard. Eleven. Everybody's talking about his leadership for this Gator team and a lot of responsibility on his shoulder. Him hard. Trey Mann. Strong. Is capable for Mike White. Levon <laughs> Gandia Rosa. Kicking out to Wajita Minu. He can't get it to Trey Mann back the other way. Trey. Defense has just uh, not been in sync. It's the fact their defense has held up. They've held North Florida just 10 points here, closing in on 11 minutes. Oh, 
in and out for him. That's how you get it going. Terrific pass. Haynes plays way above the rim. Here we go again. Nim Hart. Back to Blackshear. Bob. Mike White needed a senior leader, and I think that was a good selling point. Good defense. Fouls per game over 40 minutes. Wow. And for a big guy that yeah. played as many minutes as he did, I mean, that's an amazing stat. I mean, he knows how to play. And especially in that league with the talent he's playing against. Payne, the tap won't go, but keeps it alive. Payne's got great quickness off his feet. Nim Hart up high. Payne. Oh, boy. And Blackshear. Defense now. Couldn't tell if he was grabbing his left hip. That. That's a tough thing to learn how to do. He's already got that point down. It's easier to be able to run and push and try to find easy buckets. Payne slips to the basket. Oh, tough bucket, tough roll. Down low, the good weak side defense from Sams. If Sams would have held his ground, he was not going to give you that call. Four straight turnovers now. He actually played a four-star recruit. <laughs> I think you mentioned earlier Mike White can play as big as I've seen Florida in a, in a long, long time. They've got a lot of size. And when they get... Gorzak Gag back, the 6'11 junior out of Australia who's just been battling injuries. That's just another. In the corner to Lewis. Good ball fake. Payne is there, though, to pick up the trash by Lewis. That's what looks like uh, Gage because he's played McDonald's All-American, but it's different. Different when you're lacing it up for your school. Nice move. Lewis. Can't seem to find the range right now. Wide open three from James. Game hard open three from the field, but he does have three assists. Good skip pass by Blackshear to stretch the defense. Boy, they've missed a lot of point blank shots. I mean, they have been at the rim all night. See, just 21 did Omar gave him some good minutes. Yeah. 11 or make it 12 turnovers now for North Florida. Last year. Jobo turns about his future. There was some talk about him possibly redshirting, but once he started getting in some of these scrimmages, they were like, you know what? We can use him. Another big body. Quality minutes. He's lost about 25 pounds since he got here. He's just a, a tick under 300 now, but was right around 325. Has not had a field goal since a layup at the 12.35 mark. The Tobo stands flat-footed, had a rebound, but Escobar pulls it out of there. JT, tough. Man. Floaters all ready to go. And that's five points now for Man. Gators now up to 35% from the field. They were at 18% midway through. At 23 double figure scoring games last year did Garrett Sams. Averaging 12 and a half points a contest. Here's Blacks here. 51% from the field. Got almost 75% at the line. Sands can't get that one to go. Good on the defensive end, blocking out. Not many second chances for this North Florida team. Lewis, one for three from the field. He'll kick it to the corner. And man. Man has gotten into the comfort zone. Feels good shooting it, feels good handling it. Has delivered his last three. Bringing you something 95 miles an hour. Went to Cincinnati to be a pitcher, then he injured the shoulder. 
decided uh, he, he couldn't pitch, decided to go back to the basketball days. Went to junior college and now in his sophomore season, his first year at North Florida. Floater in the lane, no good from Yvonne Gandhi Arosa, but that won't go from Garrett Sams. But another opportunity, Escobar will fire for three, and he too demeanor. Yeah, um, I, I, they feel like they're the best team in the country. There, I, there's a confidence on the yeah. offensive end we haven't seen in a long time. A good way to go to get some points if you're the Gators. Blackshear now in double figures with 11, long rebound. over his last five games. Well, recovered, they got to the shooter, and no, a lock, it doesn't matter if you get to the shooter. Lock can just knock it straight in on your face. Catch and shoot for Sam. Left. Lenhart, 0 for 4 with three assists. Gets it to Blackshear, shot clock down to five. Here's Mann, fall away. That won't go. Pass it, this shot won't go. He'll try again. And there's a redshirt junior at 6-9. Gators have been good at the line, shooting 78%. And Andrew Nimhart, scoreless in the first half, playing 15 minutes, went 0 for 4. And right away, it's match inside. And North Florida doesn't have anybody that can stop last year. Wax. Nimhart. Little floater in first half, but if you move the basketball and they've got the Ospreys, Ospreys moving around quite a bit. There it's Sam. Can't handle it, loose ball on the deck. Now Nimhart. Lock. His floater off the win. A different start to the half. Gators coming on Locker. Up 23. The Osprey just, they just gotta find out somebody. To get a good look at the basket. They haven't had any good looks. I mean, the Gators very good at helping and recovering and defensively. John Rosa in the corner to Escobar. That's in and out. Tapped around. Last touch. Kind of throws it up with a good, a good bucket. His brother Al Farouk playing in the Instant Player of the Year. A year ago. Freshman, but now a senior out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Where the powerhouse Wheeler High School has sent out so many Division nice I prospects. Oh! oh! Blackshear handled it well. You put him on the free throw line, he'll find the open guy. Boy, it has been a tough night for Garrett Sams. Rosa slips. Nimhart, who averaged eight points, three rebounds, five and a half assists a year ago. Keontae Johnson got poked in the eye. Slow to get down to the offensive end for the Gator. Lewis, back to lock. Nimhart, back to lock. Lewis, he'll throw it down. Oh, no, he's it's all right. That's good ball. Nice. Take to the bat. Hopefully that's all it is. Aminu will try it again. 
They, they continue to be aggressive. As I know, exhilarating television. <laughs> we will go ahead and take that media timeout. So when the official said 15:52, the kid behind us said, "How about 12:52?" <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm sure he had to go study. I, I'm sure. Yeah. Or maybe that was me just uh, thinking he said that. Nim Hart. That won't go. No, they are. Uh, they've been waiting a few months to get back in the real uh, arena. And Mr. Hendrickson. We'll dump it in to Blackshear. They come with some an arsenal. And they're clever. Oh yeah. Renovated, exact tech arena here in the O-Dome. I think the league is where it is now that, that road wins are going to be extremely difficult to come by. No matter where you travel. Omar Payne back on the floor after a nice stint in the first half. Good ball fake. Puerto Rico. The assist. Gandhi Rosa. Dismissed from the team and now it's transferred to Providence. But Sam stepped up and uh, they didn't miss a beat. Cutting instead of just on the ball trying to beat a guy off the dribble. Too difficult. Ball away by Hendrickson. Off the mark. Gators led by 17 at the break. Lock wide open. Bassett. Nimhart. There's Lock. That won't go. Now, he's got Gandhi Arosa. The left hander fires a deep. G. In the North floor. Catch that one on ESPN. If you can't get to the exact tech arena. UNF on a 10 3 run. Thus, Mike White calling the timeout. Black year. Lock will try it again. He missed. Nimhart. Right. Uncharacteristic when Locke gets open looks. Pain. Got in the starting lineup late last year. These are the guys that uh, you rely on. And that's not easy because he, it's invaluable the fact that Blackshear shows up and, and he's an older guy, graduate senior. Blackshear, 7 of 9 from the field, has 18 points to go along with 7 rebounds and 3 assists. Here's Garrett Sands, guarded by Blackshear. He's going to switch off Payne. Boy, the length of Florida just causing yeah. so much problem. And so far this evening, and he has paid you. He's one for six. Interchangeable parts when you have big guys that can move their feet. Dondi Arosa had 13 points, four assists, but five turnovers last year against the Gators. Going shoulder to shoulder on the inbounds, but it goes to Black Shears, the leader. They uh, they sprinted to him, get the big man up. <laughs> they double him in the post immediately. Doyne gets it off to Escobar. And he's athletic. You're not going to get anywhere off the dribble. Florida's been too good to help him recover. Sealing off lanes. Blackshear posted up. 
Nimhart can't get him the ball. Man looks that way. Now Nimhart in traffic too strong. I think he was trying to throw a lob pass to Lewis Cutting. That's a three from Gandhi Arosa. No good. Johnson the rebound. Yasprey with 27. Lewis up and under move. Keep moving on the offensive end when you've got a good lead guard out front. Three freshmen, a sophomore, and a senior on the floor for the Gator. Man, in the lane. Ooh. Some contact, no whistle. Black in the act of rebounding and not shooting, so the inbounds on the baseline. Garrett Sams. That's off the front of the iron. Escobar over his head. And all season long, I think we will continue to, they will get better. Led the SEC last year in points allowed per game, just a pick over 63. 32%. Named after Jacquez Green, Gator wide receiver. That was so good. Here's Glover. Now to Lewis. Pull up jumper. Off the iron. To Toba. Florida at the free throw line tonight, 12 out of 16. Escobar, that won't go. Johnson at to Quez Glover. Play the stop and go, get defenders on their heels. And then how do you get teammates involved? Force coming up at 9.30 tonight, Kentucky. Will be an act. But they do have an experienced point guard, Ashton Hagas, coming back. Nice. And so now the teams, that, there aren't many of those. No. I think the Louisville team, as you look at number five, is a terrific squad. Maryland's going to be fabulous. I'll see Gonzaga in a week at eight. The normal in the SEC with the. And then you get to league play, you're going to knock each other off. But if you, if you don't win in November, December, you're going to have a hard time making it. Johnson off the back of the rim. Blackshear timed his jump perfectly. And Lewis with that block. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Sam's out of the corner. Uh, not that much. I really don't. I think uh, kids are now shooting the ball deeper at the high school level. They get to the college level, they work on it, so I don't think it'll have that much effect. It maybe it just yeah, takes them I, right I, out of their ring. I, I just think that's what the game is. Yeah. Kids are shooting it at, at all ages, AAU basketball, high school, junior high, everybody's big guys, everybody's learning how to spot up, face up, and shoot. Shushed him a little bit with the three to his lips. Good for him. Gators have led by as many as 24. It sits at 13 right now. And you have three sophomores that they're veterans, but you know we've heard of sophomore jinx. I mean, it's a difficult second year because there's more put on them. 
now that everybody's gone that was with them a year ago. And then we've seen tonight that come in and this kid right here is highly publicized. It's not easy to come to collegiate level and make your mark right away. Some have done it, but not many. Got to fit into a team concept. Usually the toughest parts on the defensive end. Trey Mann has been good tonight. Another hard part for a guy like Trey Mann. He's a local player. Right. So you'll get kinds of people. How do you handle adversity? Mike White talking to us today at practice. One of the things he was looking to see who handles it well on his club. There were no areas to even make passes, get shots off. And the Ospreys have, have hung in and made it a respectable game. Good cut. Lewis with a young yeah, no kidding, yeah. Looking for a freaking coach on the gridiron. <laughs> <laughs> Save some money, right? Quick off his feet, he's going to have a terrific year, and he might have a great career in that North Florida uniform. Approaching one minute to play. He floats, you know, it's easy, he gets the spots he wants to get to. Obviously, his athletic ability can raise up and hit the jump shot. We've seen him on the mid range jumper. On the road tonight, and they have battled hard, just not enough firepower against the sixth ranked team in the country. As we approach 30 seconds to go. Gators led this by 17 at the break. Lewis showing you some of that athletic ability. Well, that was impressive. Wingspan just uh, grabbed it. I think a good night for Mike White. Obviously, you're going to learn a lot about your team, but defensively, I thought they were pretty solid against a veteran squad that can do a lot of things. So North Florida will go to 0-25 against SEC teams. They'll go to 0-9 against the Gators. And Florida's game one.